Okay, here we see on the left we have the idle screen, and on the right we have the dashboard. And on the left we can see that it is switching between pool and spa mode. Uh, the idle screen is going to show up when the system has le been left in suspension. Um, so if no one is touching the MSP or interacting with it, then you'll see the other idle screen pop up. And it'll give us information like the what body of water we're checking, the temperature, the time of day, uh, the actual date. Um, in the future also, it will, it will tell us the weather patterns, um, you know, whether it's cloudy out, etc. Once the, once this is hooked up to the internet. Okay, on the right hand side, we have the dashboard. Uh, this screen basically appears when the system is activated by a touch command, uh, taking away or taking the place of the idle screen. Um, so on the right, we have all of our favorite options. These are the, the the options that we have selected as our most used options. Um, they are not specific to either the pool or the spa per se. Once we select, for example, the lights button down here, uh, once we select that lights button, it's going to prompt us and ask us whether or not we're talking about the pool or we're talking about the spa in this case, because we have two bodies of water. On the left-hand side, we do have the opportunity to sample one of the bodies of water specifically. And if we were to swipe on the left-hand side, we swipe over, it's going to actually select a different body of water. So if we were to actually select the left-hand side of the screen, it's going to give us all of the options that are now relevant to the spa. So all of our options are no longer be uh, no longer going to be mixed in with the pool options. It's going to specifically be talking about our spa options. So that's just one thing that we have to understand when we're looking at the dashboard. The left side is very specific to the body of water that we're sampling. On the right hand side, it's general overview.